So hopefully the structure software is showing on your screens now. And uh, so basically what you have in structure, there's a couple of just quick configuration items. I'm actually going to start with the, the metric parameters. We talked about this in the, the demonstra or in the uh, presentations. Um, as you can see, you can create you know, multiple metrics um, uh, basically any way you want. You know, here's one we're using exponential functions for both the missing and the extras. Uh, you can do a linear uh, where you've got an asymmetric penalty here where you're actually penalizing missing voxels higher than you're penalizing your um, extras. Uh, you can do simple things like this where anything within a millimeter you're forgiving and then anything beyond a millimeter you're just taking a point off. So as you can see, it's very, very unlimited in, in how you do things here. Uh, the one that you're going to be seeing when I do my demonstration is what we call the CC method. Uh, this is the contouring challenge uh, method. Um, we've been uh, doing some uh, work with uh, Radiation Oncology Resources, uh, Ben Nelms Group, Canis Lupus, and also the AMD has gotten on board. Uh, we um, kind of have piggybacked on some work that uh, Radiation Oncology Resources has been doing for several years with their plan challenges uh, that are generally uh, um, done right around the AMD meeting. Uh, so, you know, it's fascinating work. Um, uh, ROR actually is um, building on the experiences that they've had with their plan challenges and the um, uh, and the contouring challenges that we've worked with them on, and they're actually developing um, what they call their QSRT program, which is the Quality System for Radiation Therapy. Uh, they'll be working with clinics to actually implement uh, these, um, uh, these quality systems to hopefully improve um, everything from contouring to plan creation to uh, workflow, basically everything. So very exciting stuff that's coming out of that. Um, and so we've been running a couple of different uh, contouring challenges alongside of them uh, where we give people data sets, uh, we ask them to contour those, and then we grade them based on a gold contour set that's uh, so far been created by um, uh, generally a, uh, a well-known doctor who is considered an expert in that particular area of anatomy. Um, and you'll actually see one of those in a second. So once you have basically your metrics set up, uh, the next thing you need to do in the system is just kind of do some um, what we call the ROI matching al algorithm. And basically what you're doing is you're just telling the system if you see uh, a name in a DICOM structure set called cord in like the primary set and in the secondary set somebody called it spinal cord, the system knows to match that up. And then you can set a default metric that is going to be used to actually calculate when you compare those two. As you can see, this is all set up for one of our contouring challenges, so the CC method is used for basically all of the different contours. So once you have all that set up, it's just a matter of loading your data. So you click on the Load Data button. You choose your primary set. And uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, pull up um, from, uh, from one of our uh, uh, first uh, contouring challenges here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <coughs> Actually, this. So there it is. So I'm going to pull up our gold set from uh, one of our contouring challenges. Uh, this happened to have been uh, a, a pelvic, a prostate treatment. And then I'm going to pull up one of our competitors. Um, I'm going to use the example <coughs> contours first just to show you how this uh, kind of works. And then you can pull in the image set also, um, which helps just for visualization. So I'm going to grab those. It'll take just a second to, for those to uh, uh, load up. All right, so I'm going to load all that up. And basically what the software is going to do is it's going to jump to the middle slice in the set. Um, it's going to give you an axial view over here. I'm going to just window and level this a little bit uh, so that we can see the uh, images a little better. And, uh, and the first thing it's going to do is just kind of give you a, a very um, uh, qualitative view of how things match up. Um, it's going to place um, uh, some um, lines on the uh, image. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit so you can see. Uh, the solid line is from our primary set. The dotted line is from our secondary set. As you can see for the prostate here, uh, it looks pretty close. Um, for the rectum, you can see there are some differences here between the two. And then over here, you have some uh, ability to kind of jump to different slices just by clicking in uh, the anatomy where you want to go. Zoom back out here. But the real key to the software is when you click on the, the Calculate button. And what's going to happen when I do that is the software is going to uh, uh, run the penalty metrics against uh, the, um, each one of the ROIs that have matching, which are shown in green here. As you can see, it's using the CC method here. And you'll see what's going to happen when I click on this in the bottom left-hand corner very quickly. You're going to see it do its voxelization, and then you're going to see it start calculating the metrics. So there it just voxelized, and now it's calculating metrics. 
And now that it's done, it gives me my results. And as you can see for the bladder, things looked really good. The bladder is a fairly easy contour to do, but as Dr. Rodriguez pointed out, depending on how you're trained, you might do it differently. And, and, and his uh, um, group was able to actually pick up on that based on the work they were doing. Um, for the seminal vesicles, uh, decent job. Prostate, not too bad. You can see a few extra voxels here. As you can see for the rectum, uh, pretty much a failure, a negative score. You can see there were a lot of extra voxels, and the penile bulb was a, a big miss. Um, and if I move over to our ROI difference regions view, um, you can actually begin to see uh, what's going on here. If I zoom in a little bit, I can use my scroll wheel to move through the slices. Uh, you can see here uh, where there are alike and different uh, contours. Um, you can see on the uh, rectum down here, I think it's on the top end here. Yeah, so here you can see all the extra voxels on the rectum. Um, they went much higher than what the doctor would have liked to have seen. Um, this would be a great teaching moment for someone where you could sit down with them and actually show them the landmark that, they, that was used as, you know, the, uh, to be considered the top of the rectum. You'd be able to train them on that. And so you can see that there's quite a variability uh, between what uh, the gold contours look like in this case and what the, um, uh, the actual uh, contestant uh, did. I'm going to just really quickly pull up a second set just to show you that there are people that can do this very well. Uh, this was the person that actually won um, our last or the, the uh, Contour and Challenge competition uh, for, for this particular set. And you can see that things match up very well just in the initial view. But when I get, click on the Calculate button here, you'll see that you know, it wasn't just a, a, a fluke that the doctor, you know, did something completely different than what the contestants did. This was a contestant that actually scored extremely well all the way through and through. Um, what we've actually been able to show uh, through the work that Ben Nelms has done, and actually, yes, he does have a paper that um, is, uh, um, is out um, on his work, um, that, that anything with a simple metric like the CC method that we're using, uh, anything about 75 or above uh, dosimetrically really doesn't make you know any difference um, and uh, and so uh, you can see for this person that almost every single one of their ROIs uh, the rectum uh, being the only one that's slightly under 75 um, dosimetrically this this person's plan would have ended up being pretty much exactly like what the doctor would have expected uh, so um, you know there, there's definitely work that needs to be done out there we realize that and we're hoping that between the the, the work that uh, Dr. Rodriguez is doing the work that ROR is going to be doing with their QSRT program that, uh, you know, we'll be able to make a difference. So with that, I'm going to uh, um, bring it uh, open for questions. And, uh, again, appreciate everyone taking the time to listen today, and we're really excited to uh, hear uh, what you have to say.